Hi, I'm Dennis Stone from America's Stonehenge. We're in Chillicothe, Ohio, and we're visiting one of four mound complexes in this area. This mound complex is called the Hopewell Mound Group. And the word Hopewell does not come from the Native American name. It actually comes from a family of farmers in the 1890s. Mordecai Hopewell was the name of the farmer. And farming, unfortunately, because of plowing activity as well as natural causes, caused most of the earthworks here to disappear. Originally, 40 mounds, including the largest known mound in the area, and it had uh, about three miles of earthen walls. So we're standing at the top of a ridge here where some of the earthen walls at one time passed just right behind me. And behind me, actually, you can see the beautiful vista out here, a huge field. The entire complex is about 130 acres, and the field is where most of the earthworks were located. The area down here um, was not a city. It was probably a place of ceremony, a place of gathering, a place of meeting. Perhaps people even exchanged goods here and came here during special events. Many of these mounds are astronomically aligned, so perhaps celebrations took place, as well as when people, you know, died. This was a place of burial and uh, perhaps when people got married or other particular important activities. But it, um, it is one of uh, many, many mounds located from the Ohio Valley out to the uh, Rio Grande. And um, it is a spectacular view looking out over where the mounds once stood.